right, so here today we do in fact have dev notes. I want to make it clear that I did upload a video like right before this uh, where I said, hey, I don't think dev notes are going to drop today <laughs> just because like they deleted it for what reason then? You only tweeted it six hours early. There was no need to delete the last one, um, but it was real. So I want to make it clear whenever I do share something with you, I try my best and I make sure uh, that it is of the highest quality and I vet it as much as I possibly can. And I made sure that what I published was correct because I checked it, right? I had three people confirming the story. I had, ver uh, what is it, various reliable people confirming the story. So I put all of that information together. I did my own research and I came to the conclusion that it was real. And I can confirm for you here today, what I shared with you was fully real. Uh, so keep that in mind. But today, uh, we do have more information. So I wanted to share it all with you. Um, apologies for that video. I didn't think that it would be that fast. <laughs> so that video was out like six hours ago. Uh, so at least you saw it, you got it early. But today, let's jump into it. If you're new to the channel, like it, subscribe, helps out a ton. Uh, not to be that guy, but we are currently, at the time of recording, three subs, three subs away from 15,000 subscribers. I'll say thank you in advance, and I don't want to delay this video anymore. Let's continue onwards. All right. Dear Commanders, I'm the director of Goddess of Victory, Nick Gay. Did you enjoy the first anniversary story? I think we all did. The memory of Goddess and um, the fully voiced Miracle Snow that we prepared as a present for you. We are really glad to show you the results of the developer, te uh, developer team's hard work, and we humbly accept your feedback about our shortcomings, which again, I know people say that's a marketing thing. They say it genuinely. I do feel so because a lot of what we tell them gets answered. I know. I know. The one thing that everyone keeps bringing up is the gotcha skins. They want to make money. So <laughs> really can't say much there. But uh, beyond that, they do listen for the most part. We are doing our best to develop new contents. We will continue to strive and listen to everyone to make Nikkei a better game. At the same time, we received many suggestions to make a mini game, Memory of Goddesses. Again, a permanent content now. Let's go. What? The development team will uh, refine the mini game's rules and mechanics to give you a more pleasant, permanent experience of MOG. What? No freaking way. Yes, dude. That's sick. Nah. Nah, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. Oh my god, dude, what the fudge? Oh my god, they won. Oh my god, they won. <sighs> there will be also more mini games coming in the future, so please look forward to them. I cannot wait, man. I cannot wait. Let me begin today's developer notes uh, with a, de a December event. They knew how much they cooked, and they said, all right, all right. People loved it a bit too much. All right, things are problematic here. We got to give it to them, dude. I, there, was a, there was a petition going out on Reddit. I, I, I signed it, I think. Uh, where they were saying, like, uh, make uh, MOG a permanent content, and it happened. Wow. Uh, December event Neverland. So, again, it was confirmed. I showed that to you last video. Uh, the official confirmation that cr uh, Christmas is coming to present you with more surprises and fun in December. We have put in a lot of effort. We are currently preparing a fully voiced story of it. Yes, dude. Uh, they're doing this more often now, which is amazing. Uh, Neverland, which we hope you'll enjoy. This event will showcase a visual novel mini game which focuses on the stories. Although we hope all of you will like it, we know that each of you have your own preferences. Just like the other uh, ordinary mini games, we prepare various types of mini games that require more diverse gameplay in the second half of the year. And in this mini game, you'll be able to adjust uh, the pace temporarily. So, what they're trying to do is they don't want to like can these like big, big effort mini games, which again, MOG is a big effort mini game. It's not like a 10 minute thing. It's like a 20, 30, 40 minute thing. You're sitting down having some fun. That's what it's meant for. So to both please this audience and this audience, they have different mini games. So sometimes you may not like the mini game, but don't worry, we got you next time. So it's a great thing. You have to realize that uh, at the end of the day, they have to please everybody. They can't just please one set audience. So they're trying their best. So very cool thing there. We developed a minigame with the uh, intention to give you more stories and different kinds of fun. So we hope that you can take your time with it. For the developer team, this is a whole new challenge among the minigames we are making, and we hope you can align on us with your suggestions. Your comments will serve us as great experience for our future minigame development. Thank you for always offering valuable advice through the customer service center and communities, helping us make a better game. I would also like to give you a tip on how to enjoy the Neverland more. The event field uh, this time is much more bigger than usual and uh, better captures the romantic scenery of winter, so it'll be more fun to observe the animations on the field and landscape mode. I hope this tip can help some of the commanders who find it more convenient to use landscape mode. First, the official rerun characters. Recently, we've received many feedback about rerun events and rerun characters. As such, we have decided to bring back Rupee, Winter, Shopper, and Anne Miracle Fairy in our first rerun characters in anticipation of the winter event. The rerun mechanic is based on the incorporation of the various survey answers and our internal discussion results as they are as follows. Here we go. 
During the winter event, Rupee Winter Shopper and Anne Miracle Fairy will appear in the limited time recruitment and other uh, new limited Nikkei's will have, or with a, sorry, certain probability. So let's see this. Um, as mentioned, this is exactly what I told you last video. The chance of recruiting an SSR in the winter events limited recruit is 4%. So blank 4%, keep that in mind. All right, write this down, blank 4% which is every time I get that gold, that was a 4% that proc that, all right? Now, while the chance of recruiting a Nikkei who's limited is 2%, now, let's say it's Rupee, for example, Rupee is on 2%, so it's a 50-50 still. Nothing changed there, the math stands. What happens is, now, that other 2%, because in a standard, it's a 2% limited or whatever, and then a 2% standard plus Pilgrim, it's going to be changed now. These probability rates are the same as the current rates. Of course, the chance of recurring, or recruiting, just butcher that, a pilgrim is 0.5%. The chance of recruiting an SSR Nikkei will be lowered to 0.5%. So it's gonna change that percentage. From the current 1.5%, there will be a 1% chance for the newly added recruiting rerun characters, which is Winter, Shopper, Rupee, and Anne Miracle Fairy. That means that Rupee, uh, Rupee Winter Shopper, and Anne each have a 0.5%. So basically, it is 4% blank, correct? Now, in that 4%, it's a 2% for, you know, the new characters, Ledmilla and whatnot. Uh, it is then for Pilgrims, 0.5. So we're now at 2.5. Now, rerun characters are 1. You're at 3.5, leaving 0.5 for the other SSR characters. Very basic. Now, getting dupes, trying to MLB and do whatnot for old characters is going to be a pain in the rear. It's going to be so hard to do that. It is not even funny. Uh, because remember, Emma being a, a pilgrim is already hard. Now, tenfold that because it's it's less than one percent. It's it's half of that. Now it's 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 deeper into a, a rabbit hole you don't want to go. So, am I going to be pulling for these characters? No. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull for Ludmilla. If I get Ludmilla, great. If I get you know uh, Rupee, then Ludmilla, better. If I get Ludmilla very early, give a damn. Nope, I'm not going for <laughs> Rupee or Anne. I don't care, um, but you have two chances, theoretically. The way that I see them doing this is both characters are on both Ludmilla and Mika's banner. Both those banners are held at different times, so we're going to have one chance there and one chance there. If I pull both characters before pulling the other two, I don't give a damn. I'm going to look away. If I can pity the characters, if they get buffed, maybe. The dev notes didn't mention a buff, so I'm guessing they're not buffing them, and I'm not going to use it. But again, the end all is that you can use pity during the limited time recruitment to get the rerun characters, which is good, correct? I still think it's going to be hard to pull characters like that, but maybe when the rates come through, I get lucky and that's good. Aside from the mechanics above, the rerun method and details may undergo more optimizations. We are open to suggestions and feedback for the first rerun this time. Please feel free to share your thoughts on social media uh, and give us your feedback, right? I personally think how I answered in the survey was better, where it was two separate banners, correct? So it's four banners at one time. Who gives a damn? Just choose what you want to summon for it. And you put it where? Rupees on 2% on that banner. And then, you know, uh, Led Mill is on 2%. And then, then Mika's on 2%. And then, and then, hear me out. This, this is going to blow your mind. Hands on 2%. Oh my God. What's the issue with that? I don't know. But four separate banners in my head was the most smart idea. But again, if you like this, hey, there you go. Next, let me update you on the improvements we've made to the items. We will enhance the function that specifies the quantity when you use the items. The, uh, this improvement will be uh, or will apply to consumables such as selection boxes and credit uh, cases beginning December. Um, we hope that this, uh, you know, with this growing your Nikkei's and using the shop will be much more of a convenient thing. Okay. Uh, last page over here. Other than that, we'll make improvements so that's easier to equip Harmony Cubes. By December, you'll be able to check the cube skill info in the Nikkei info page and change the Nikkei equipped with a cube with more ease. Um, hopefully, the optimization will make Solar Raid and other main contents more user-friendly. Nikkei page search function. Here is an update on the Nikkei page search function. We promised the first anniversary video. This is the only function I care about. You can release thousands of things. This is better than any. This is the Devno's highlight. You don't understand, man. Maybe I'm blind. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm old or something. Maybe I'm maybe I'm growing on the age there. But oh my god, it is impossible. Like sometimes I'm looking for a character and I swear I can't find Tia. I'm like, where the fudge is Tia? And then I scroll for ages and I'm like, oh, there's Tia. And I don't even have like a big box like that. I'm missing a good amount of characters. It's just annoying, dude. I can't find them. So that's huge to me. Currently, we have two main goals for this improvement. Uh, first, the function to filter Nikkei's with a red dot indicator to grow them quickly and conveniently. And second, the function to search the Nikkei in mine accurately by typing in her, uh, her name. We are expecting to roll out these functions by January. <sighs> 
bit of time away, bit of time away. Moreover, we are preparing an update to the Nikkeipedia to make it easier for you to search Nikkeis you don't own. That's also very good. Once again, thank you to everyone who gave us support and the various suggestions in celebration of the first anniversary. Moving forward, last thing of this dev notes, additional skill level development materials. Now, let me tell you more about a plan we've also mentioned in the first anniversary video. In January, we plan to introduce an overclocking function in Simulation Room, which will give additional skill level development materials. Can I make me cry, Nick? Eh? This is crazy. <laughs> Overlock is an additional mode where you uh, challenge yourself with a level five difficulty in Simulation Room. You can continue to enjoy the existing features in Simulation Room comfortably and will provide various difficulty adjustments options so players who like concentrated shooting experience can have more choices. Overclock will adopt a seasonal system with each season lasting two weeks or longer. Just too good. That's me uh, clapping my hands, by the way. Calm down. Um, that is me saying, great job, devs. This is absolutely a 10 out of 10 dev notes bro uh, i do know that people are gonna be very mad about this which is again they are open to feedback so give your criticism let them know i do know that it's gonna be rough i understand it i fully understand the thing i've seen a lot of people already getting mad about it uh, it's true it's it's a one percent to pull both characters a 0.5 to pull a specific one MLBing and whatnot is gonna be bad it incentivizes you to not miss a limited that's what they're trying to do they're trying to make sure you summon when it first arrives right yes those that miss Sparkling Summer Anise, good luck. You better amass a pity to pull her, otherwise it's going to be rough. Um, but we'll see. I'm going to go through this system. I'll see how it, how it is. But on paper, a 0.5 is rough. A 0.5 is very rough. Remember that. Uh, it's a 1% chance to pull a Pilgrim. This is the equivalent of pulling a Pilgrim for two characters that don't even deserve the title of close to being a Pilgrim, right? Both are very mediocre characters, right? So that's like my 10 cents. But again, who am I? Beyond that, the uh, Christmas event has been confirmed being Neverland. I really can't wait for this. I think it's Mika and Ludmilla. That's my speculation, though. I don't know anything, right? So for me, that's basically what I got for you here today. Uh, great information. I just want to make it clear that, again, when I do share information with you, I always vet it uh, thoroughly and make sure that it is uh, correct and sort of right. Yeah. So that's why that video was published. It was correct 100%. Not a, not a single damn thing missed there. So again, you're welcome. Uh, but yeah, that was uh, that's that. Thanks for watching. Take care, everyone. Have a happy holiday and prep yourselves, boys. It's coming, dude. We got Christmas and it's going to be a wonderful time for Nikkei. So get in the holly jolly spirit. Have fun, boys.